So a big thank you to Danish Inspirations Modern Contemporary Furniture, bringing our next case, guest from San Antonio FC. He's defender Carter Manley. He joins us now. Carter, thanks so much for coming on the show tonight. Thanks for having me. All right, I'm just going to get right to it. Position this uh, tomorrow night. How important this is to San Antonio FC coming to Houston and taking on the Dynamo in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. You guys already knocked off Austin FC. Uh, my assumption is you want to knock off another major league soccer team. That's exactly right. It's a huge opportunity and a, a huge game. Um, you know, after beating Austin uh, earlier, about two weeks ago, then that was a club history first for us. And, you know, we want to keep making history. We want to keep going farther. We want to show people what we're capable of. And, you know, we're not afraid of anybody. Um, so that's what we're going to go out there and show tomorrow. Carter Manley joining us, uh, defender for San Antonio FC. So just to remind you how they did this over Austin FC, this was incredibly uh, dramatic. Elliot Collier in the 82nd minute would tie it. And then Carter Manley in stoppage time of the second half would get it done. He would get the game winning goal. I, I, you know, for this franchise, which to many people got kind of pipped out of MLS by the Columbus crew being located to Austin. Did you guys get that whole sense in there a little bit around that game that, you know, San Antonio thought they were maybe potentially going to get into major league soccer. And then all of a sudden Austin FC comes into the picture. Was that carried a little bit into this game? Yeah, there was a definitely a bit extra there. Uh, I know that it was really big for the people that had been there with the club since day one, since the people had been supporting and, hoping for that for a while. Um, so I know that was extremely important to them. And I'm glad we could deliver on that and get the city and the people who show up and support the team a win. So what it, on that day against Austin FC, for you, what was it from San Antonio FC that helped you get that result done? I, I know you guys are highly motivated. I know a lot of you are sitting there going, hey, I could be on Austin FC. I'm better than that guy. That's part of it. We all know that. But, but what to you was so important on that day? If I had to put it down to two things, I would say resiliency and our togetherness or cohesion. Uh, you know, you go down, we're tied 0-0 at halftime. We come out, we're, we give up a goal early, down 1-0. It's easy for teams to fold, get mad at each other, start blaming each other. But I think the mentality that we have is the exact opposite. We come together and we recognize that, all right, it's not going to be easy, but we're going to do this. There's no other choice. And I think that's the two things that helped us carry on to win the game. Carter Manley joining us here, San Antonio FC in town tomorrow night. They'll take on the Houston Dynamo. It's the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup PNC Stadium. They have already knocked off Austin FC. Carter Manley uh, with the game-winning goal in that game, historic game for San Antonio uh, FC. Going into that game against Austin FC, I mean, did you guys – feel as though, look, I mean, Austin FC for me is one of the best possession-based teams in all of Major League Soccer. Do you con concede that a little bit going into that game when you develop a game plan? Uh, I think our game plan was to play our game, not try to play the opponent's game or let them play their game. Uh, we were focused completely on playing our style of play and letting that dominate the game. That was That was our goal. We weren't going out there trying to match what they were doing and try to do that better than them. We have our own identity and we stick to that no matter who we're playing. What is that identity? What is that purpose uh, of play? That is high pressure, high intensity on and off the ball, being aggressive, going forward. Carter Manley joining us, played his college soccer at Duke, grew up in the Maryland area. We're going to talk a little bit about your upbringing because I saw some really interesting things. Uh, was a first round draft choice of Minnesota United. Uh, Alan Marcina, how much importance do you place on, on your coach in these types of games? And does he speak to you a little bit differently? Is the team talk different going up against an MLS team than maybe it is against the USL championship team? I think the the talk's a little bit of the same and a little bit different. Um, you know, it's always an opportunity for each player to show what they're capable of uh, at an individual level and push to the next stage in their career. And it's an opportunity at the team level to show everyone what we're capable of. And this was a bigger test than uh, what we usually face. Uh, so with 
bigger tests, bigger opportunity, both at the individual and team level. And I think that's what was communicated to us uh, to provide that extra spark, that extra energy for us. Now you're going to have traveling fans in Houston tomorrow night. I, 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 we know that they're going to just come down I-10. Uh, they're going to come to PNC Stadium. You know, you know, what's the fan base has been pretty exceptional for you. You guys got a beautiful stadium. Um, speak to me a little bit about the environment, San Antonio FC as a club, and then the, the unique sort of intimate relationship that you do have with these fans who will be traveling tomorrow night here to Houston. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, I said it after the game, you know, we just came off a Saturday game playing 90 to hundred minutes. And then we have Wednesday against Austin and I'll tell you what, we got a man go down. We got another who's struggling to finish the game. 135 minutes. You don't finish that game without huge support from your fans. And, you know, that, that was extra energy boost. That was good for us. You know, we have that internal drive, you know, we can push through that. We can do that, but having the fans behind your back, having them, you know, be out there supporting you. That's just an energy boost. And we feed off the energy of the people around us, our teammates, the fans, whatever it is. Uh, but they were, they're incredible. They create such an incredible atmosphere. And I mean, the loyalty and passion that they show is incredible. San Antonio FC defender Carter Manley joining us. Well, you just gave them the biggest reward you probably could in Central Texas, right? Because now they got bragging rights over anybody in Austin, right? I mean, is, is that the way you guys look at that game? And is that the way your fans look at the game is basically, hey, anytime I go to Austin, hey, by the way, San Antonio FC, we knocked you off two to one. Yeah, there's definitely that bit of a uh, back and forth going and, you know, you want to have that one up where you can go and throw that at them. But that was definitely there for sure. I mean, I heard it from a lot of the fans after the game. Uh, I mean, it's just been it's been in the air and I love it. Community outreach. What do you what do you guys do as players? Because I, I assume you guys are out in the community a lot. You're trying to connect personally with as many players as possible. Uh, the sports landscape is very crowded. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do and, and, and how you outreach the San Antonio soccer community. Gotcha. Yeah, everyone has their different areas, their different passions that they like to focus on helping on the community. Um, and, you know, everyone, uh, the front office has been very supportive in providing us with opportunities to go and speak or help out in those different areas. Um, and yeah, everyone's been able to do that a little bit. Uh, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and uh, that's something I would like to help out around the community. So yeah, there's a lot of opportunities and I'm, it's been great having the staff, the front staff be so open and communicating with us about what we can do and what we can help out. Carter, what, what do they do with you guys as the first team players when it comes to your academy and things? I mean, obviously there's got to be a connection there because ultimately they're trying to get where you are. Uh, what do you guys kind of do when it comes to, to being connected with the academy and, and you know, that level below you? Right. We have, we have a good amount of kids that come up and train with us during the week. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a good connection there. Uh, you got, and then even during preseason, we had our last game against um, El Paso some of the players were able to get in and then open cup, the last two open cups, we had a lot of Academy kids step up into difficult situations. Uh, I mean, especially as like your prefers professional experience or, you know, probably toughest game you'll you've played in. Uh, so, I mean, we've been training them and they've been in with us. We've been helping them both technically, tactically, technically and mentally. And I think that showed when they came in the game, how they helped us. Is part of that not treating them as though they're little kids when they come into training? I mean, hey, you're there with the big boys. So part of my job is, you know, not to, to lower my level of game around these guys. It is to help them and nurture them. But it, it's also about, hey, here's what the next level and here's what it takes. Exactly. Yeah, I would say that during training, it's there's no let off when we're going up against them. It's competitive. But at the same time, we recognize that uh, they're still developing and we try to use that um, to help them grow, like take them aside, little hints or like little things that we've learned. Maybe, you know, instead of letting them learn the hard way, you just, you know, pull them aside, let them know. This is, this is probably the way. Carter Manley joining us. Okay. You played, um, yeah, you played for 
someone that I played against, John Kerr Jr. at Duke. Tell me about your coach at Duke, because uh, I know John very well. Um, tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, I love Coach Kerr. I still, I'm still in contact with him. Even four years out of college, we're still talking, uh, catching up on <laughs> the old days, how the team's doing, how I'm doing, everything. Uh, but he is, he's an incredible human being, great coach. And, you know, there's, he's really helped me. During my time at Duke, he's really helped me develop and become uh, closer to the player I am now like uh help me really grow and develop and even afterwards you know just still looking out for me still being my coach even though i'm not playing under him so i mean it's he's a great great person to have in my life and yeah it's been it's been great having him leadership mentorship what what would be one or two of the lessons you got from him in college uh, you know because look as college is a big step up to the professional game so was the youth game to the college game, right? So what were some of the early lessons you got from John Kerr, your coach at Duke? I would say two of the lessons were uh, to be more aggressive. Um, and that's, that, was, that was one that he really gave me. Uh, and then I think the second was kind of soccer advice, general life advice, as well as don't get too high when you're up and don't get too down when you're low. Um, and that can, you know, when things are going well in soccer, you know, don't don't be like over over the moon or anything. Just like steady, keep pushing forward, be professional. And when things are going bad, don't don't uh, let yourself fall into that trap of of that thinking. Just keep moving forward, keep continuing to grow, get better. So when he said be more aggressive, did he mean physically on the field or your personality or what? what specifically did he mean there? Uh, both a little more towards the personality, but both, uh, you know, first year coming in as a freshman, definitely wanted me to be more physical. Um, and then as I grew, just more aggressive in my personality in terms of how my play, like uh, taking on more responsibility within the team. Nice. Talking to Carter Manley, uh, San Antonio FC defender, played at Minnesota United, played his college soccer at Duke University. Um, how do you guys get rebooted here now? I mean, how do you forget this Austin FC game? Has that been hard to do? Because, look, that is a significant game in the history of San Antonio FC. There is no ifs, ands, ands and buts about it. But how do you reboot yourself now for a different Houston Dynamo team than Austin? Um, you know, we were really happy that night and we celebrated that night and then we moved forward because we know that, you know, teams – love to talk about you when you're doing well and you're doing high and, and that, all that. Uh, but if you lose the next game, kind of all that goes away. So, you know, that Austin games in the past, we're always looking forward. Next game, Houston, that's all that matters. Austin was two weeks ago and Houston's a focus. It's been a big journey for you. Look, you're at Minnesota United, you're in major league soccer, brand new franchise, you know, incredible stadium all that now you're in the usl you've had a couple of loan spells with rgv las vegas lights it, you know even though you're in the limelight it hasn't been the easiest thing like a lot of people's pro careers you have to stay with it um you know spirituality uh, the ability to stay strong mentally you, you know how do you kind of cope with some of these things because your ultimate end game is get getting to the highest level you can possibly get to Right. Yeah. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a roller coaster. Um, there's definitely some highs, there's definitely some lows, uh, but yeah, mental, mental toughness is definitely an underrated uh, or like um, a, definitely a key aspect of getting through and having this uh, career. Um, yeah. You just, you got to keep moving forward despite the, the falls, anything that comes up. Um, I mean, it's, it's tough sometimes, but yeah, just having that resiliency, like I was saying earlier to move forward. Um, and that's now on the other hand, Carter, is there anything better than being a professional soccer player? Knowing you're going to training every day and you're preparing for games. I mean, the preparation is, is also part of, I would say the enjoyment of it, right? Do you enjoy the preparation part, the training and all that goes into it before game day? Yeah, I love the the build up during the week. You know, you just kind of see like, oh, gradually you're putting the pieces together for what you're preparing to do on the weekend. Uh, 
and it's definitely been really enjoyable you know <laughs> there's a uh, not many other things that people I can see people wanting to do besides waking up playing the sport they love and you know and then just relaxing San Antonio FC defender Carter Manley what's a part of your ritual preparing for games on the weekend I mean certain sleep patterns food I mean is there anything you know that the walk on the day of the game what are some of your rituals uh not not too much actually I just try to relax and enjoy myself not think about the game until it's time to come don't want to yeah, just don't want to over, uh, like start thinking about it too early. Uh, focus when I'm when I'm there. That way, I'm not you know mentally exhausting myself thinking about it all day. So just relax and enjoy myself. So you know this question's coming. Did you ever think about a game too much that by the time you got to the game you were slightly wiped out mentally? Because that that's yeah. happened to me. Yeah, early on, and uh, I learned that quickly that you know you can't. You just can't, it's not a conducive mind state to have. Uh, yeah, you just got to relax and, and enjoy it. Um, and that's what I try to do now. Carter, tremendous catching up with you. Thank you for coming on the show ahead of the San Antonio FC and the Dynamo and the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup tomorrow. Congratulations on an incredible moment, dramatic game winning goal against Austin FC in stoppage time. Um, we thank you so much for coming on the program here tonight. Thank you for having me. It was great. All right. Fun stuff there. That was Carter Manley, defender for San Antonio FC, uh, played at Duke University, as we talked about there, but uh, had that dramatic uh, stoppage time game winning goal as San Antonio FC knocked Austin FC out of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup tomorrow night. They take on the Houston Dynamo, and I would assure you there will be some fans from San Antonio FC making their way to Houston. All right. Right now.